Welcome to another video. We're going to take a look at a comparison between Katia V5 and Fusion 360 regarding OBJ file import. So, within my last video, I presented this model from Common Sense Machine, so image to 3D model. We're going to make use of the same model for this case study. Therefore, within Katia, if you want to add an OBJ file and also have it editable, we're gonna go within Imagine and Shape Workbench. We're gonna go for Import Subdivision. And I will select the same model that I used within my last video, which is this model from this session. We see the OBJ file will be selected, in this case Mesh. If I'm gonna click on Open, we're gonna see that there are some errors that have occurred during the import. The main problem is that Katia cannot process large OBJ files, even though this model is not very high detailed, we see that um, we have this um, error over here. In comparison, if I will try to open the same model within Fusion, I can go on Insert, Insert Mesh. I will select this as a 3D comparison, select from folder. I'm going to go and select the same file, so which is this one from the last video from yesterday, which will be this mesh. Now, keep in mind that this is really, uh, let's say, important. As we can see, within the mesh file, I can only select uh, either STL, 3MF, or OBJ. So even though I'm only selecting an OBJ file, this is what Fusion sees within that folder, since those are the compatible file formats. Within the same folder, we also have the MTL and the Albedo. So this will be the texture, this is the same uh, mesh that we see over here, and this will be the MTL. MTL is the material library. That means I have the possibility to open this with Notepad. And we're going to see that we have a link. So this is the, the texture, the map, the albedo PNG file in this case, which is this one. Therefore, only by selecting this OBJ, Fusion will also read the texture within that same uh, folder. And as you can see, the object will appear textured and Fusion won't have any problems loading this. So this is, let's say, the main advantage of Fusion over uh, Katia V5. If I'm going to go on display, display and uh, show the visible edges, you're going to see that the mesh is not that highly detailed. But if I will move my mouse closer, we're going to see that within the section, that texture will, um, will disappear just as it is normal. So keep in mind that, that objects added like this will be like meshes. We see that in this case we have some warnings. The mesh is not closed, the mesh is not orientated, and the mesh does not have a positive volume. So that means if I'm going to go within the section analysis on this model, this won't be filled. So we only have the exterior surface, which also has that texture applied to it. So this is the main um, the main problem with Katia V5. It cannot handle large OBJ files. So if I will try to open the same model directly within Katia with drag and drop, we're going to see that Katia is not able to do that because OBJ file formats or other 3D file formats that um, are exported from um, from Common Sense Machine are not compatible. We see we have the OBJ, the GLB, and the USDZ. Only the OBJ file format, which is the only legacy one, is compatible with Katia, but in this case, we should take the model within Blender and have it heavily subdivided in order to facilitate the integration within Katia. So let's take a look at, uh, at that as well. The session will be this one, and this will be the mesh. We see 2.9 megabytes. This will be the model. If you want to see also the statistics, we're going to see that the total face count, the total triangle will be um, visible over here. So let's try and have this simplified. So I'm going to select the model. I'm going to go to modifier. And I'm going to apply 
in this case I can go with decimate and to make it easier for Katia to import I'm gonna go with a ratio of 0 0.1 we're gonna see how much that mesh was changed so if I will this is before applying the decimate this is after the decimate we see how few triangles we're gonna have over here within the I section of this model so now um, we can also go to wireframe and we're gonna see how much of a difference will that make I'm gonna have this re-exported and see if Katia will be managed to load this so I'm gonna go for OBJ legacy in this case on downloads and I'm gonna call this um, I'm also gonna go for selected objects only because I don't want the light uh, I'm gonna just call this for Katia and have this exported I will go back to Katia start shape imagine a shape and the same subdivision I'm gonna select the same model which is this one for Katia we see that the texture is no longer positioned over here but this will only um, have 322 kilobytes but again we see that this mesh cannot be, be loaded I'm gonna go even way beyond 0.01 which will only have 300-400 triangles or even less I'm gonna go for 0.01 which will make this roughly let's say a primitive as we can see file export obj I'm gonna call this decimated selected object only have that exported go back to Katia import subdivision and we know that we're gonna have um, this decimated file now which is only almost four kilobytes but again we we see that there are still some problems during the, the file import so Katia won't be able to open this so this is a common problem in Katia and only heavily let's say either decimated or Katia has some problems with some self intersecting between those models I'm gonna open Geomagic and see if there are some um, some problems within the mesh and if Geomagic will be able to fix those so Geomagic should start now and within um, this section where we have those decimated I'm also gonna copy the um, albedo over here so that when I'm gonna drag and drop those within Geomagic the texture will also be visible so this is a different case study should be this one I'm gonna open the one entitled for Katia which is the previously at 0 0.1 and we see that it is recommended to use mesh doctor to analyze the mesh so let's see if there are any problems so we see there are only spikes and high creases so spikes 225 and uh, seven high creases I'm gonna apply those but in this case we see that the nose of the model will be also deleted but we see that there are no manifold edges no self intersection usually those are problematic for Katia and with this object I'm gonna go again file save as I'm gonna choose again the OBJ and I'm gonna call this um, mesh doctor so we know that this shouldn't have any problems if I'm gonna go in Katia open I wanna open the mesh doctor model we're gonna see that now Katia was able to load this but one of the drawbacks is that we can't have textures and also it's a little bit laggy since there are so many elements over here we also see the inverted normals that are associated with this I'm just gonna click OK to have this loaded now Katia will fully enable the transformation of this model we see that the toolpad palette wasn't responding but now if I'm gonna select press space I can start and manipulate with this so I can select the top for example I can um, have it scaled so maybe I want to select um, let's say the whole head 
of this model. I'm gonna hold down control and while I'm within affinity, this will allow me to scale down. So we see that we can do that. It's a little bit laggy, but Katia will be able to work with this mesh. With the heavily decimated one, which is this one, it will most likely be real-time uh, processing and editing and stuff like that. So we see this is the model. Uh, the model wasn't scaled, so I'm gonna scale it down again. Afterwards, <coughs> wait for this. We see that, check the selection validity. In this case, that should be done. But let's see if the scaling will be as well processed. So we see that there are some uh, some problems. Let me see if I can just have this translated and afterwards press space to end that. It should be able to process, but as I said before, Katia doesn't like heavily detailed models. So maybe not the decimation is the, the correct way. In this case, maybe we need to do a remesh and we can change the voxel size. This will be 0 0.1 and 0 0.01. We're gonna see how this will look, but this will have quite a lot of geometry, so maybe something like 0 0.1 or 0 0.3 should have 0 0.03, should have more details. But we see that the nose of this uh, model will again be heavily influenced. Yeah, and that's it. Katia managed to do that translation. We see that for the scaling, it struggled. So this is the main reason why I prefer to use Fusion often uh, over Katia V5. I'm also going to make some videos with uh, the newer Katia version, the 3D experience. And we're going to see how that will handle OBJ files. So if you enjoyed this content, I will position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right. So thanks for watching.